Inktober and Peachtober day two. This that you're seeing right here is Peachtober. It is my stronger piece and it is my first time ever making a character. So I'm proud of it. I mean, I've never done any character design and I can definitely see her in like a little children's book and I kind of, I, I love her. I don't know what her name is. I'm thinking Amelia, but I don't know. Anyway, the prompt for Peachtober today was Cosmos. So in my sketchbook, I actually did a pretty realistic Cosmo flower and it turned out really well, but because I wanted to record and because I was doing everything twice, I decided to do this and I made a little cute little character and she's adorable and I'm obsessed with her. Um, she's such a cute little girl, which is so weird. Um, I just really like this character. It's the first time I've ever made my own character, no reference or anything, so I'm very proud of myself. Um, so yeah, this Peach Chopra prompt at first I went very literal, I just, in my sketchbook, I did a realistic Cosmo flower and you'll actually see that later. I didn't record the process, but I do show it in, at the end of the video. Um, and then Inktober was Spider and I did Web Splinger in my sketchbook, um, which, oh my gosh, if you haven't seen the, the newest Spider-Verse movie, there's a Spider-Man that's a cowboy and his name is web slinger and he has a horse and even the horse has a mask and i'm obsessed with him he is my favorite character i have i don't know i he's he's awesome i have had a weird obsession with him ever since i saw him i i know the big thing is like punk spider-man everyone loves him everyone loves hobie i love web slinger i want more of web slinger i need to see more of his character i just find him so cool the concept is cool and I, I I like that the horse hangs upside down with him. I don't know, I just really like him. Um I don't I don't know. That's not really like super relevant to this whole spread and Peach Tober and Inktober. But I just wanted to put that out there that I stan Web Slinger. I hope he turns into more of a main character in the next Spider Verse movie, which yes, there is going to be another one. Um if you haven't seen the newest one, it does end on a huge cliffhanger, so there's definitely going to be another one. Um, but yeah, so this piece I did in watercolor, and I ended up adding colored pencil to just kind of like really touch up the shadows and everything. And then here, I was so nervous, I thought I ruined it because I accidentally like put way too much water, and I didn't mean to, but I was able to save it with colored pencils, luckily. And I actually went into this, my only plan going into this was that I wanted the hair to be space, so I wanted to add all like space themed colors. I didn't know what color I was going to do the headband, I still wasn't even sure how I was going to do the eyes. Um, I had a few different ideas going, and I was really nervous about the shirt because I didn't sketch it out very properly, but it turned out okay. I think that it could have been slightly stronger in the clothing area if I had planned it out more and I wish I would have made the headband like a light pink kind of like her blouse is but it's okay I'm, it's not that it's not that big of a deal but yeah so colored pencils saved the rocket ship thank goodness and then you could still kind of see the pencil lines in the stars so I was like really digging into the paper with that yellow I was trying to make sure you didn't see like the pencil because I can't draw a star without doing like the five point like connecting them all if that if you know what I mean like not just like I you know um left top right left right bottom left Did, that made no sense it made sense in my head um anyway here we're getting to the inking of Inktober which I was using this brush pen and I actually really like it I used to hate brush pens I just found them so annoying because I have a heavy hand I'm learning to have a lighter hand but I typically have a very heavy hand if you can't tell by my sketch that I tried desperately to erase but my hand is so heavy that I literally can't even erase it um so <laughs> I'm working on it but I think that it turned out okay I like my sketchbook spread more if I'm being completely honest but once again that goes back to the 
sheer obsession with Web Slinger, and I just think he's so cool. I am obsessed with him. I would get a poster of Web Slinger, and I have absolutely zero posters because I am a 23-year-old woman, um, a 23-year-old mom, and we don't have posters in our house. But I would get a poster of Web Slinger. I don't know. We have, like, very minimal house decor, and I don't think my husband would very much like it if I got the only house decor we have is Web Slinger, and I have a Beetlejuice, um, uh, wreath, but I don't think that he would like our only two pieces of web, of house decor to be a poster of Web Slinger and a Beetlejuice wreath. Um, I think that would drive him insane, because he is very much a minimalistic, like, black and white style guy, and I am very much, like, color pops. I love when people do those, like, unconventional decorations, like, a chair that looks like a Coke can. There's this one girl I follow on TikTok, I don't remember her username, but she has the coolest house decor, and she made, like, dinosaur head, um, like, decorations. It's, like, these big dinosaur heads that she, like, hung on the wall. I don't really know. And then there was this whole, like, controversy about, like, her copying some other person. She was like, no, I'm just decorating my house. And this other person was like, no, you're copying me. I have this type of decor. Anyway, it ended up being this, like, whole big thing. And I don't even know. I didn't get that far into it. I just like watching TikTok drama. I like, sometimes I'll watch drama, like, those people who will cover basic drama on their own YouTube channel of other people. Sometimes I'll just watch that just to get, like, the tea and because I like drama, but not my own drama. I like other people's drama. I don't like being in drama, but I love hearing about it, and my husband's the exact same way. So luckily, if I ever hear any tea, I can spill it to my husband. And this is how you get ink off of paper, ladies and gentlemen. If you have thick paper, you can use an X-Acto knife to scrape off the top layer of paper, which I learned this in my printmaking class because sometimes it would get a little bit messy and you wanted a clean edge, and you can scrape away that top layer of paper. And then I realized, you know, I did not maximize my space very well, so I decided to chop off the edges so that it would be just, like, a better use of space. I didn't like how much extra space there was. Also, I think I made, oh, excuse me, I think I made the spider butt too small. The abdomen, I think, mm, yeah, I think that's what it's called. I think I made it too small. I, I tried to go for, like, a certain angle to where the front was like closer but even with that like I don't know perspective I think that the butt is a little bit too small and here I am still trying to erase all my lines because I draw too hard Ugh, it's the worst um and then I use white gel pen because I was literally about to put a hole in the paper uh but yeah oh yeah my husband was asking for one interrupted nap can you believe that man um anyway Cosmos spider and then second thing of cosmos after i did the first thing of cosmos and then web slinger i love him and i think the spiders on that page look better i don't know what i did wrong but yeah anyway thank you for watching